UDL On Campus, Universal Design for Learning in Higher Education. An Introduction to UDL and Assessment. Reducing learning barriers is of vital importance in post-secondary settings, as learners arrive in colleges and universities with a diverse set of experiences. What may be a preferred learning mode for one individual may be an obstacle for another. In learning environments, individual variability is the norm, not the exception. Instructors of post-secondary courses set goals for learners. Assessment is used in courses to determine how well learners are meeting instructional goals. Goals need to be clear and separate from the means of achieving them. Assessments should offer more than one route for demonstrating mastery. A critical part of assessment is the construct. Construct is the term used to define the knowledge, skills, and abilities to be assessed. Construct relevant factors refer to factors such as type of presentation or response that are related to the construct that the test is intended to measure. Many assessments include features that are not relevant to the construct being assessed. These are considered construct irrelevant items. These features may pose barriers for some learners and impact their performance on the assessment. That's where Universal Design for Learning, or UDL, comes into play. As a set of three principles for curriculum development, UDL provides a blueprint for creating instructional goals, assessments, methods, and materials that work for the widest possible range of learners. This flexible approach to curriculum development can positively impact how learners perform on assessments and result in a more authentic appraisal of learner achievement. The first principle, representation, focuses on the ways in which information, including assessment items, is presented. These can be charts, graphs, images, videos, demonstrations, or objects to manipulate. The second principle, action and expression, focuses on how learners demonstrate what they have learned. Do they have the option to write or draw? Do they have the option to present their capabilities through multimedia or a recording? The third principle, engagement, focuses on enhancing motivation and persistence. When their achievement is assessed, are they sufficiently, but not overly, challenged? Do they have options and variety in how they are assessed to help reduce anxiety? It is important for instructors to be aware of the inherent variability of learners. The existence of barriers that may impede both the acquisition of information and expressing their competencies. Designing assessments with these challenges in mind will allow for greater flexibility to ensure learner success.